For a lot of us who go down the shore every single mm -hmm. summer, it seems like the boardwalk games are calling our names. Oh my gosh, we're enticed to try the luck, right? Lay down some mm -hmm. money, win a prize for your kiddos. Take a look at this. Do you have any advice? Throw it in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? Throw it in Throw the it hole. Throw it in the hole. So, mm -hmm. is it really that simple? More importantly, I've wondered this for a long time. Are the games uh. fixed? Hmm. Well, reporter Sean Sullivan and Amira Swalem from New Jersey Advanced Media, NJ Advanced Media, walked the boards for NJ.com to find out. Yeah. So they collected data and laid it all out in a story called "Get This: Claw and Order." Love it. I love that. So they're here to tell us what they found. All so. Right. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm very <laughs> excited about this. Uh, tell us first and foremost why you decided to go ahead and investigate the games, specifically in the Jersey Shore Boardwalk. Yeah. yeah sure. um, so uh, I cover the uh, I, I cover crime and corruption in Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm usually looking at uh, digging through court records and stuff like that. But earlier this year, a uh, Boardwalk Games operator got uh, a 10-year ban and a uh, $15,000 fine for uh, repeated violations involving the overinflation of basketballs. You know the basketball yeah. game. Yeah. They were they were oh. pumping them up. Typically, they're supposed yeah. to be at a certain psi, and they were pumping them up too much. And and so they they. Oh. they Crack down, and that, and you know, suddenly that introduced me to a world of documents that existed, yeah. <laughs> and so we we requested a, a trove of uh, five years of violations, mm -hmm. and then I gave them over to uh, uh, Amira because she's our uh, data journalist, and she uh, crunched the numbers for us. How bad is it? <laughs> I mean, it's you know, a, they they do like seven thousand investigations. The Attorney General's office does seven thousand investigations a year, and we found sixty three violations, and um, the Struthers case had of those like. Prior to the 10 year ban, they had half of those, like the wow. 66,000, yeah, uh, violations given. They try to like fight some of them um, according to like the records. And so, yeah, and, and the places with like some of the most violations were, um, now, yeah. When you say violations, what are you referring to? Because I, I, I don't want to put a, a damper on anybody who's going to the yeah, judge yeah, and saying, don't play the games. You know, overall, what are the violations and what's your overall assessment of how honest they really are? Overall, the you know the, the Jersey Shore is a pretty shit safe place to spend your money. I yeah. mean, uh, yeah. we we all kind of understand what the uh, you know what the yeah. transaction is when yeah. you're playing a boardwalk game. Um, uh, and uh, I, we talked to a couple of operators, you know, your, your Jenkinsons, your uh, Maurice Pierce, the, the, mm -hmm. the more established ones. And, yes. and this is something that, that they are like, you know, we, we don't engage in this. This is kind of the more fly-by-night operations. But uh, mm -hmm. when, when Amir's talking about uh, violations, we're talking about the overinflated basketball. We're talking mm -hmm. about the, the claw machine mm -hmm. uh, coming down yeah. and then coming back up without your prize. Uh, we're, we're talking about, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, the bushel basket bouncing your ball back out, uh, anything like that. There are strict, actually strict rules, and these inve we, the state has these investigators that go in and they they check the level of the of the, the platform, they check the PSI of the basketballs, and they wow. and you know they'll hit you with a five hundred dollar fine mm. if you're in violation. But you all actually went out and played yeah. the game and <laughs> right. tried to test them out yourself. Well, what yeah. were your findings? Well, we found that. Especially, we, we were really interested in the claw games because those mm. were the ones that had the most violations. So we were like, and and part a reoccurring issue with the claw games was, a like you know that maybe sometimes like there wouldn't be a prize on premise for like something like you know like headphones or there would be a box and no prize inside yeah. or the big oh. one was like you know you grab the game and then it couldn't support the weight yes. so it would drop and we found that happened so many times like we would grab. The, like a toy, a stuffed animal, and it would just drop yeah. Uh, before, yeah, before we would be able to get the toy. Except for when we did uh, like play until you win games, which were five dollars, we got that first try. <laughs> first try every yeah. time, right? That's, that's a guaranteed <laughs> yeah. prize. Yeah. No five dollars. Yeah. 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 Um, so let's talk. Let's let's break it down because I think a lot of people. You mentioned the bushel toss, right? And what exactly? Just help me understand what exactly that is here, and, and what what is the trick to successfully win the game? This is the toss, right? Yes, yeah, so that's that, that's what's called like a, bu a bushel basket, and yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, so the the trick there, uh, I think, is really just uh, tr trying to not hit it de uh, hit it dead on because it will. Uh, it's more buoyant there, and it'll bounce out. So you kind of want to oh. just hit the back and have it land in there. Oh, um, hit the backboard yes. basically. It's like playing ball. Okay. Yeah. And I love how you guys tried to pretend you were really out of towners. <laughs> Did you really? We really. Yeah, we, we, uh, I wore socks and sandals for this investigation. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was committed to the bit. No, no. <laughs> Did it make no, a, no. Do you think that made? Oh my God! Look uh, at that. Yes. Did it okay. make a difference, though? Do you think that they looked at you and said, "Oh, we can get this guy"? We can, I, 
I, I, you know, I, I think overall uh, we're all easy marks, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and you know that's one of the things that I, I, I found talking to the uh, operators of this is you know they say that you know we're not in the, uh, the the games business, we're in the entertainment business, and so that's why you hear these people like you know they're heckling you, they're you know they're egging you on, they're giving you an extra throw. These guys are these people are entertainers, right? <laughs> Yeah, and, and we found that, like, you know, one of the guys, like, I was trying with the basketball. I'm not a particularly yeah. good shot, but he, you know, he gave me a couple extra basketballs to try. And yeah, so, that's good. See, yeah. Sometimes you find a really Yeah, nice I mean, there are, so I, I mean, I, I lived on the Jenkinsons boardwalk growing up, right? Yeah. Uh, now I, I, I'm spending a lot of time in Seaside and Wildwood and LBI. Anyway, the, the, here's the thing for folks who are going to the Jersey Shore this summer, right? I remember as a kid, my parents would say, we're not playing that game, we're skipping that game. Like, a spin the wheel thing, you're kind of, you know, your odds are like, risky here with where the wheel stops. Mm. So what is your advice to folks about what games to play, the best odds to get a bang for your bucks so you're not kind of spending this crazy amount of money to win your kiddo a prize? Well, for starters, I would say avoid the claw game because that's just a, yeah. a losing thing. But uh, when it comes to your your other games, you know the tips we got from uh, some of the more legitimate operators. The biggest one was look for the posted rules. Like a lot of these these places, they have like in big block letters what the rules are, and people mm -hmm. don't don't notice them. And and kind of just ask questions, be curious. And the most important thing, watch before you play and see mm -hmm. if anybody else is winning prizes. Mm -hmm. Because if you know if other people are walking away with prizes, then it's you're, it's showing you that it's fair and not you know not something where the basketballs are overinflated and nobody's going to win. Mm. But you. You actually did win. Yes. yes. Right? And Let's yes. see your prize. And we, well, I brought you uh, you guys a present. We won this. <laughs> this. I did win this in the crane game. This is I'll a, get out. It's a yeah, $20 giraffe. That's uh, a $20. 20 yeah. 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 Look at this $20 yeah. giraffe, folks. Okay. All in, how much did you spend? Uh, we spent $120. $120, about, yeah. yeah. To win that. Well, no, we, no, we, okay. we did get uh, an array of prizes. Yeah. Uh, um, but uh, you know, uh, market value, I would put them, put it somewhere. <laughs> in the oh my gosh! Double digits. Yeah. Well, thank you two for coming in. Yeah, Reporter thanks so much Sean for having Sullivan us. And Amir Swilen. We really appreciate that. This is really good for us because we're both yeah. going to be heading down there. Yeah. This and check summer. out the reports on NJ.com. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Check awesome. it out. It's a fascinating, but fascinating I, read. I feel guilty. I'm not taking this. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. $20. laughs> you guys worked hard. Congratulations for us. Thank you. on that. <laughs>